Hey guys, how's it going? Mr Mitchell here. In this video we're going to look at ferromagnetic materials, so let's get into it. Now it says here that ferromagnetic materials are ones which can become permanently magnetised. Common examples of such materials are iron, steel, cobalt and nickel. Ferromagnetic materials will respond to magnets and can also be magnetised themselves. It then says that electrons moving within the outer shell of an atom produce tiny magnetic effects called magnetic dipoles. These are aligned in domains, but the domains are usually aligned randomly and so cancel each other out as shown below. So in this picture we've got a ferromagnetic material where the domains are randomly aligned. So this means the magnetic dipoles in this domain are aligned differently to the ones in this domain and this one and this one and so on. And the net effect is that they all cancel each other out. However, placing the ferromagnetic material within a magnetic or electromagnetic field causes the magnetic dipoles to align themselves with the magnetic field they are in creating a strong uniform magnetic field. We can say at this point that the material has become magnetised. So when the domains are all randomly aligned, the material is not magnetised, but then when we expose the material to a magnetic or an electromagnetic field, this causes the dipoles to align with the direction of the field lines. So if the external magnetic field points to the right, then the domains will align along the magnetic field lines of the external magnetic field also to the right. Just to show you a quick simulation of this to help you understand it, if you look down the bottom right here at this ferromagnetic material, you can see the dipoles are aligned randomly in different directions, so in this case the ferromagnetic material will not be magnetised. However, if we apply an external magnetic field to this ferromagnetic material, such as by wrapping a coil of wire around it, then you'll see we get the electric field lines passing from left to right like a solenoid, and you could see there that the dipoles have all aligned with the direction of the external magnetic field. And we could say at this point that the material has become magnetised. Going back to the notes now, it says that the magnetic field can be made permanent if the material is heated and then allowed to cool. Likewise, a bar magnet can be demagnetised by heating it up. A magnet can also lose its magnetism through mechanical shock or jarring, which causes the dipoles to randomise. That's all for this video folks, thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.